In this lesson, we'll explore the need for introductions in an online course. We'll examine creating both instructor and student introductions. When you introduce yourself and allow students to introduce themselves in an online course, you're helping to establish what Garrison and others refer to as social presence. This means that you and your students are able to project yourself socially and emotionally so that you come across as real people. Making these types of personal connections can help to improve student learning. So, what should be in your instructor introduction? First, you should provide your professional information. For example, you could include your area of expertise, your research interests, or how long you've been teaching. You should also add in a photograph so students can put a face to your name. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be a recent photo, and it can be a close-up, or if you prefer, it can be taken from a distance. You should also consider adding some personal information, like your hobbies or information about your family. Cutler noted that if you disclose personal information, then it's more likely that students will reciprocate. That can lead to an increase in trust and support for students in your course. There are multiple ways that you can create your introduction. The simplest is to add your photo and text directly in Blackboard. If you'd like a little more of your personality to come through, consider creating a few slides in PowerPoint. We'll learn later in this class how you could even narrate your PowerPoint presentation. Or, if you have a webcam, you could create a short video to introduce yourself. The advantage of this type of introduction is you can express your personality a little more and students get a chance to see and hear you. You'll also need to provide an opportunity for student introductions. This will help to build their social presence and reduce the isolation that online learners often report feeling. You can ask students to share what you might typically ask them to share in a face-to-face -face class introduction, such as their major, their year, and why they're taking the course. You should also ask them to share where they live, since it's possible that your online students are temporarily or permanently living in another state or another country, and they could be in a completely different time zone. You should ask about their experience as an online student. That way you have a sense of where their questions might be coming from or appreciate the level of anxiety your students might be feeling. You could ask them to optionally provide some personal information about themselves and a photo, if they're comfortable sharing that. One of the most common ways to have students introduce themselves is through posting on the discussion board. For those students who are more creative or technically inclined, they could create a PowerPoint presentation or video from their webcam. Just make sure they provide the link to those pieces of media in their discussion board posts. To help foster a sense of community of learners, Ask students to read each other's introductions, then ask they reply to at least two other people in the class. This will encourage students to actively read through the postings of others in class. Introductions in an online course help to provide a sense of community for people who might never get to meet each other in person. Maintaining this type of social presence can be a powerful motivator to keep students actively engaged in your course. 